Building on what happened here yesterday, the most complete game of the season for this team, a season high, and the first shutout of the season, the most dominant shutout this team has seen in a few years. Well, all across the board, it was a great day for the Cincinnati Reds. There's been some issues with the Phillies. There's no doubt about it. It's ugly. It's, they have not played well. They have to clean this thing up. I think the thing for Luis Sessa is about continuing what these other pitchers have been able to do this year, and that is to just be aggressive and go after the hitters. Bryson Stott ready to lead things off. He's one for two lifetime against Sessa. He's got a home run, plus 175. There's a high fly ball to right, pretty well hit. Myers going back toward the wall. He is out of room. It's gone right over the 370 sign. His first home run of the year. It's a 16 game hitting streak. He ties put in head Jones in style and the Phils take a one nothing lead and it is a Phillies record to start a season tying put in head Jones who established the record back in 1950. One ball one strike the pitch to Turner rolled out to short Newman throws not in time. Well that's a good sign. But infield hit for Trey Turner the Phillies have a base runner here in the first. That's the Trey Turner we know and love. Three balls and no strikes to Schwarber with the runner at first base. At ball four, so Cecil walks him on four pitches. And the Phillies have runners on first and second with nobody out. Nick Castellanos is coming up. Away, that loads the bases. The first four Phillies have reached, and Sessa has to face Brandon Marsh. He co leads the team in extra base hits. Broke his bat, loops it, it's a right center, that's going to be in for a base hit. Turner will score, Schwarber will hold up at third, RBI single for Marsh, and the Phillies take a 2-0 lead, and yes, it's a hit with a runner in scoring position. Alec is uh, riding a nine-game hitting streak, he's fifth in the National League in RBIs. Swing at a bouncer, knocked out by Steer, runs going to score, everybody will be safe. It's a 10-game hitting streak, and the Phillies lead it 3-0. And now Jake Cave, the batter. And a liner out to left center field. On the run is Senzel. He's not going to get it. One hops the skyline, chilly side. And this is going to clear the bases. Cave with a three run double, and the Phillies lead it 6 0. Just what the doctor ordered, T Mac, and Jake Cave did exactly what you want to do in that situation. Bases loaded, you're thinking opposite field in the air. He drives this ball into left center field and gets it past Senzel for a nice double. and. Boy, did the Phillies need this one. Oh, right through the vacant hole on the right side. RBI single. Cable score easily. 7 0 Phillies. And still just one man down. And now Trey Turner, who has a hit already in this inning. 2 1, broken back ground ball. Back toward the left. Newman's got it behind the bag. Not in time. Run will score. A second infield hit for Trey Turner. I think he's broken two bats also. Ripped down the right field line by Schwarber. That's a fair ball. It kicks around the corner. It stops on the post. Myers can't get it. Turner's going to score. RBI double for Schwarber. 9 nothing Phillies. Yeah, I mean, nine runs yes. now in this inning. The Phillies scored nine runs. They sent 13 men to the plate. Stott started it with a home run. It's nine zip fills. As Aaron Noel is ready to go. I mean, he's got a 9 nothing lead. Why wouldn't he be ready to go? <laughs> Jonathan India, T.J. Friedel, Jake Fraley. And right wow. down the middle, a called strike three. There's the sinker, and I think you and I are in agreement that might be the pitch, particularly against left-handers, that he needs to utilize a little bit more here this afternoon. Jay Friedel has been on base a lot, hitting 327. Fly ball center field. Marsh is back easily and makes the grab. Jake Fraley serves as the D.H. for the fifth time this year. He's had a strong start to the season. And a call strike three on the inside part of the plate according to Chris Guccione one two three go to the Reds here are the bottom of the first inning Fraley's not happy about it we'll go to the second it's nine nothing Phils runners at first and second and that'll bring Nick Castellanos to the plate Nick has walked he's also flied out that he lines one sharply on one hop knocked down by Newman into shallow left Trey Turner's coming home the throw to the plate won't get there in time the sweet slide of Trey Turner and the Phillies lead at 10 nothing speed kills and he certainly has a ton of that we've talked about it all the time Brad and Marsh the batter he's one for two broken bat off Sessa's cleat shovel offline 
Schwarber holds at third. Sessa comes up rubbing his right pitching elbow. That's a base hit. Down 10 nothing. The Reds in another bases loaded jam. Oh, that is lined to third. Snared by Steer. A run in, but they leave him loaded. Four strikeouts for Nola first time through, including Jonathan India looking. Hits that ball fairly well to left. Schwarber has to play it off the wall. India shoots up to second, standing double. Cement mixer right there. Breaking ball that does absolutely nothing but spin. Grounded sharply and pass Bohm. India walks home. Fraley races around first. Dug by KB. Bobbles it right. Fraley turns. He digs for third. Helmet off. He slides safely. Now Alec Bohm leads it off. There's a line drive down the left field line. That's a fair ball going to the corner. But Bohm's on his way to second base. He'll get his third double of the year. Now that's a hit. So now Jake Cave is in scoring position. But Jake Cave off the glove of India, and Bohm's going to score. The Phillies get one back. It's 11 to 1. That'll be the fourth RBI for Cave today. Fernando Cruz is in, a run in, two on, nobody out. Luis Sessa. Really unfortunate. Sessa crestfallen. Down 10, second and third, nobody out. Kevin Newman struck out swinging his first time. To center field. Bad run from Marsh, and he tracks it down. He started hard in, slammed on the brakes. Sack fly RBI as Steer scores. It's 11 to 2. 1 0. Popped up. Could it be in between? No, it's going to hang. Marsh the grab, tag at third, make him make a throw. Slide, safe. Sack fly RBI, another run for the Reds, it's 11-3. 11 runs on 15 hits for the Phillies. And a hot shot into right field, a base hit. Marsh will go to third, be waved home, Fairchild kicks it. And he'll score easily. It'll be a single for Alec Bohm, his third hit of the day. Marsh scores on an E9. Here's the 0-2 pitch coming to Real Muto. Swing and a high fly ball yeah. left field. It's deep. Back is Friedel on the track. He <laughs> turns and it's gone. It clears over the 12-foot high wall and left. And JT Real Muto with his second home run of the season. And that'll make it a 10-run advantage once again as the Phillies lead it 13 to 3. And it'll bring up Jose Barrero. Grounder to the third. Harrison's got it. Throws across the diamond in time. And the Phillies win it by a final score of 14 to 3. They win the season series. Oddly, they will not see the Reds again here in the regular season.